Hey guys, on this video we are going to build this first section. We are going to start where we left on the previous video. If you didn't watch that one, I will leave a link in the description. So, first we need to create the default data source, then configure the snapshot. I will put a mark here to start with the default data source. So mark default data source. Default data source. And here create an uh, extension. So extension and uh, it is these view controllers, so movie view controller. If this was a more complex application, you could put this extension in the different file, but uh, because the main goal of this video is to demonstrate how the composi composition layout works, I will keep it simple. So function here to create the data source. And now pass the collection view to the data source. So config data source is this type here. I created a um, type alias and I will create the the bar here. Movie data source. Okay, now we can use it. The source equals here equals movie data source, the type I created. We can remove this and use here the collection view. Here now we pass the closure. It takes a collection view with the type of Y collection view. Some space and the index path type index path and here the type we are using as model in this case is movie and uh, the return type is y collection view cell so and its option, uh, okay, it is with the uh, lowercase. Okay, organize this better. This one seems good now. Now, here we are uh, going to provide uh, a cell. So let's use the reusable. Identifier is type string, and uh, we can copy movie cell, highlight cell, I mean, and the uh, use identifier. I will use um, variable here because n for now we only have this type of cells, but we we'll use different uh, types according to the index but now let's keep it this way okay here pass the reuse identifier and the index path the index path we receive index path as highlight cell 
and uh, because we are using guardlet to make sure uh, it's not no so if it is no and turn no this is just a safety check now we can call the method we created previously it's called um, show movie and pass the movie Let's get to the, f the section first. And I'll call the method. It's movie measure, measure dot movies and we, we can assess through the index path. You can see here we have a different sections. Now we are going to use only the highlight section. So next path Good item. Return the cell. Now let's see the show movie. I will show you. You can see here it's showing the image and the, the button text. Now we finish for now creating the data source and uh, we can configure the snapshot. Let's create the method to do that. Uh, I will call it configure snapshot it's uh, getting a hero well, i have here this i just need to rem remove it here okay now we can create the the method but first let's organize this a bit so here i have the steps uh, we need to make first set the collection view layout then then the data source we created the method already, just calling it, and now configure the data, the snapshot. So create here, func configure snapshot. And call it here before I forget. We can remove this because the name of the methods are very explicit. Here you create a variable first, call it current snapshot because when you update the collection view, you compare the different uh, snapshot, the current one and the new one. So the current one is NS diffable data source snapshot. The comparison is done um, automatically by uh, the diffable data source. And the movie manager section and uh, add all sections to the, the um, snapshot. Sorry for this, remove this and uh, collection in collection, yes, in and now here put current snapshot dot append uh, sections it's the collection. space if we let to make sure it's not new uh, equals movie imagine dot movies these movies can be supplied by the um, 
backhand or um, f from um, database the collection view doesn't care he just uh, want to know who, what will be displayed and now I pen the items the items in this case is the are the movies and now you can call data source dot apply and pass the animate the difference and false let's rebuild the project command V and everything is looks fine I will now comment the um, the other sections this just to um, to look better in the preview but in the future videos I will add these sections and then I will uncomment so comment here as well we can run it yeah, everything is fine we can run it yeah okay now we can run it not yet <laughs> here I think that should be okay yes we can run it build to save and uh, I forgot to put the cell identifier I, I was forgot this so you can see here when this message appears it means you forgot to, to put the identifier let's go to the, copy this and uh, go to main dot storyboard and put the identifier uh, class it's right and put it here let's run again and hopefully this will work now we also see it and it's working you can, and you can see it has the pagination effect I told you in the previous video I was going to show you the different scrolling behaviors let's do it now so if you put it continuous you can see the behavior is different and let's change it to other type continuous group now it will stop on the each group let's see okay uh, you can see it scrolls to a specific group it doesn't stop in the middle I tried to stop in the middle and it doesn't if it was continuous it uh, would stop in the middle let's keep it spagination because it's uh, the better for this use case like this I will finish the video here but on the next one I will create the next section so if you want to see it please don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you there